Praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We praise him. We seek his help and forgiveness. We seek refuge with Allah from the evils of our own selves and the evils of our deed. Whosoever Allah guide cannot be misled, and whosoever Allah leaves astray cannot be guided. I bear witness that there is no God except Allah alone, with no partner or associates. And I bear witness that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his slave and messenger. Allah has created his slaves to worship him, as he says in the glorious Quran, وَمَا خَلَقَتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ and I, Allah, created not Jews and humans except to worship me alone. Surah at tariyat Quran, chapter 51, verse 56. Islam. Islam is divided or built into five pillars. And one of the pillars of Islam is fasting during the month of Ramadan. Fasting during the, mo who, uh, is, uh, fasting during the month of Ramadan is obligatory, compulsory, and also mandatory to an able body. Whoever breaks fasting during the month of Ramadan without a legitimate excuse has committed a major sin. Fasting during the month of Ramadan is compulsory to all Muslims adults or Muslims Ummah who reach the age of puberty except sick person and old age person, women during their menstrual period, women during nifas, that is postnatal women, Breastfeeding mothers, traveler, and insane person. One of the greatest acts of worship is fasting, which Allah made it obligatory to his slaves, as he says, Ya ayyuha alladhina amanu kutiba alaykumu shriyamu kama kutiba ala alladhina min qablikum la'allakum tatakun. Oh, you who believes, Observing a song, fasting, is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you so that you may become al mutabikun the pious. Surah Al-Baqarah, Quran chapter 2, verse 183. My dear brothers and sisters, let's look into fasting, the meaning of fasting, and what we should avoid during fasting. Fasting, fasting means no food or drink from sunrise till sunset and also abstaining from bad habits such as smoking, gambling, swearing, backbiting, gossiping, being disrespectful, selfishness, and also sexual activities should be banned during the hours of fasting. Intention. Intention is the root of any aspect of Ibadah. Any aspect of Ibadah is done with intention. So intention is the root of any aspect of Ibadah. The Prophet, peace be upon him, says, There is no fast for who did not intend during the night before. During the night before, <coughs> reported but by Abu Dawood. The month of Ramadan. The month of Ramadan is the month of mercy, month of forgiveness, month of repentance, month of attaining paradise, month of the Quran, month of revelation, month of peace and tranquility, month that we don't just we don't we don't do just what we want but we do what Allah wants. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran Shahru Ramadan alladhi unzila fihi al-Quran hudan lin-nasi wa bayyinatin min al-huda wal furqan The month of Ramadan is the month in which was revealed the Quran a, a guidance to people and clear proofs of guidance and criteria Surah Al-Baqarah, Quran chapter 2, verse 185. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, in this holy month of Ramadan, I encourage you, we and I, to all returns to Allah. Returns to Allah. Seek Allah's forgiveness and repentance so that we will become the most beneficent in this dunya and hereafter. The month of Ramadan, Ramadan is broken down into three stages or days. The first 10 days of Ramadan, the second 10 days of Ramadan, and the third 10 days of Ramadan. The first 10 days of Ramadan are days for mercy, and the second 10 days of Ramadan are days for forgiveness, and the third 10 days of Ramadan are days for attaining paradise, or days for protection from hell fire. 
Allah has chosen fasting for himself and he will reward it and multiply the reward without measures, as he says in the Hadith al qudsi Accept fasting, which is only for my sake, and I will reward him for it. Charity. Charity is encouraged in this holy month of Ramadan, that is Sadaqah. Charity is given to the poor and the needy. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, I encourage you in this holy month of Ramadan to give charity, to give charity to the poor and the needy so that Allah will multiply the rewards for you. The little you give in this holy month of Ramadan, Allah will multiply the reward for you without measures. Wassalamu alaikum.